Look at my bow. So this month I have read only two books. I was in a bit of a reading slump, but it is what it is. What I managed to read was If I Stay by Gail Foreman. I get why people like it so much, but I, it was a bit too solemn for me, like all of the time. And I gave it a 3.5 rating on Goodreads. Then last night I finished Looking for Alaska. I just didn't love it. I gave it a solid 3 on Goodreads. Uh, mm, Alaska annoyed me a lot. and. I was spoiled, I knew the big thing that happens in it, and I didn't even cry when it happened. I was just like, oh, this is so far the only John Green book that I've read that I didn't like, although I've only read three. The other book I said I was going to read was The Death Cure by James Dashner, and I haven't got around to it, and I'm not sure that I will anytime soon. I might after I watch The Scorch Trials, which I know has a bit of this in it, so maybe that will give me more incentive to read it. I said if I could get around to it, I would try and finish this monster of a book, The Diviners by Libba Bray. I was like a third of the way in and now I'm like a bit more of than a third of the way in. I really want to read more but this is a really old house and I think there are ghosts in it so when I read this it really really freaks me out at this house. I bought four books this month. first book I bought was Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I at first wasn't sure if I wanted to read this or not. It seems very tropey for dystopian, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. Plus, from what I saw of Pierce Brown in Tasha Polis's Comic-Con video, he seems great. So, I'm gonna give it a go, and sorry about the cat. I saw this in store before I heard anything about it anywhere else. It was on like the shelf that was like movie adaptations, but I haven't heard anything else about it. But um, from what I've heard, this is an amazing book. And when I bought it, the guy was like, This is so good. And I immediately picked up the next book. And he's really frustrated that um, the author is taking his time <laughs> with um, the next one. So that got me really pumped to read it and it is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. He has a fun name. He seems like a cool guy. I always see his reviews on Goodreads. Does this mean I'm an adult now that, I, that I'm reading books with tiny tiny font? It's like size 6. The next book I got, the covers really freaked me out. So I thought they were scary books. Jesse the Reader is always going on about how great they are and I was still like, but maybe he likes scary stuff and then everyone else was like, they're so good. And then Ilse from Ilse's books, she was like, I read them and I was like, are they scary? And she said no, so I'm going to give it a go. It's Miss Peregrine's, Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. <laughs> Pictures in it are a bit unsettling. So I'm gonna read this book during the day. <laughs> Scary things aren't my thing. Next book, which I've been searching for for two months, is Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. I've heard so many good things about this book and it's been out for like four years and I only heard about it this year. I'm excited. All I hear is great things, just fantastic things about this book. Thank you Gimmick Sydney for having it. All the other stores don't. I, I saw it in a store once before I heard anything about it and I was like, oh, that looks interesting. And then I went back to buy it and it wasn't there. Very happy that I got it. And I got a discount on it because I used my rewards and so I only had to pay $7 instead of $20 for this. Woo! And so now we have this month's books that I'm gonna read. August! August time! August time! My birthday month. I'm gonna try and read Ready Player One. This is Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I'm gonna try and finish The Diviners. Finally, after a lot of years. I think that'll do for this month. Because reading three books is a bit of a struggle for me. Let's try and stack these. Because stacks are fun and I need a thumbnail. Oh, oh my god. Is it a 
yourselves. We're gonna start trying to be cool now. <laughs> now that bye. I'm very looking forward to. Re <laughs> it's got very small font. I'm gonna try and fin it. Bye.